Hello and welcome back. This is Double Debbie, and this is episode 114 of my Ocean Block Let's Play. And today we're gonna try and get a mycelial network going. Um, I've been uh, working hard. Let's go have a look at what I've been doing. Um, I have been setting up our last compact machine over here. Um, I was running really low on chunks to that I can force load and I wanted to make sure I force loaded the compact machine. So what I did is I had these two chunks right here. I took those off of being force loaded because it's just a tiny bit of the um, uh, I think that's the Britannia Island. Yeah, because there's the Fighting Island. Uh, so that's Britannia. Uh, so I just cut off those two to give myself a couple more to play with. Um, in case, because uh, I do need to go to the end and reset that end quarry to get more um, of the dimensional shards. Yeah. Uh, we have plenty uh, for now, like we have the singularities, but if we need any more than four, we don't have enough for another one. Uh, so that's something I need to do as well, but let's have a look. I got the groundwork sort of laid out. Uh, I got our network, our wireless transmitter, and our network receiver set up. Um, I went ahead and made the mycelial reactor and all the other machines um, that were needed to be made. Um, none of them were very difficult at all. I think one I had to uh, hunt down some uh, end essence to turn into um, some purple blocks and that was that was about the only one that we didn't have everything for <laughs> immediately uh, I had to get a bucket of meat even though we have um, liquid meat um, I couldn't I guess I could have gotten a bucket through the system without having to go out there. I sometimes forget that, you know, that's a thing. <laughs> um, so, yeah, these, all of these, I don't know that this is any exact configuration that it needs to be. It's just a nice way to uh, spread them all out um, in an organized manner. Uh, so I was thinking uh, we just start on one end and work our way around. Um, I could not find anything that says um, like a website that says what these things take. Um, there's no in-game documentation on them. And I can't, uh, it, it must be something that they recently added be, with the like absorption of the extra utilities stuff. Um, so maybe it might be under some old extra utilities um, wikis. I don't know. I might check into that next time, but I figure we'll go through uh, the ones that we can figure out we'll figure out and then I can look up like each individual one that we can't figure out. Uh, but this is a magma mycelial generator and it's got a picture of a lava bucket here. So I'm going to assume that it needs some lava and maybe a magma cube. Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so Let's see, uh, I think there are, most of these only take like one item, but there are a couple that have two different slots. So I got uh, a little bit prepared. I need a couple of X 
exporters. One of them I'm not sure that it's gonna need, like, which one was not the slimy, it was, um, was it you? No. I think it was the disenchantment one. Are you the disenchantment? Yeah, it's this one, okay. It's got two slots, but I'm not sure what if maybe this is a you send it a, an enchanted book and maybe you get a regular book back or I, I don't know so and this just says input um, so I'm not sure um, yeah those probably shouldn't be called that like this is called power this should be like um, <laughs> something else other than tooltip titanium basing handler disenchantment input zero um yeah but it's there's no clue so um i need a couple more exporters to hook up in case those need two things so we're gonna say fluid type um Lava. Lava. Oop. Are you getting in lava? You are now getting in lava. Whoa, look, it's already producing power. Um, generating 50 epi a tick. Uh, there it goes, but I wonder what, what is this other thing needed then? Well, let's try a magma cube and see if it makes it better. Um, magma cream. I meant a magma cream. Maybe. Um, red tooltip on the bottom. Pull. Does not like magma cream, apparently. Um, you know, this might not, I don't know if I should let, do anything with this power. Um, I could possibly, um, get like some power cables. should be able to, any power that we get, these guys should get taken and put into our network as well. Okay, and this doesn't, I oh, definitely want to disable limit. I want this to be able to uh, put out as much as possible. Um, okay. I 
wonder what else, maybe if it was this magma block. Maybe, maybe we'll try magma block. But it is working. That's all that's really required. So maybe I should just move along and try to figure that one out if there's anything else to go in there. This one just looks like it needs a nether star. I'm not sure if I want this one working all the time. Uh, let's see about, um, so we'll set it up, but we'll put it to only work with a redstone signal. Actually, we could do that for this one too. So I don't know how fast it's gonna, you know, burn through everything. Uh, we know it works though, so that's the important thing. Uh, let's get this. Nether, another star. Where'd you go? Right there. Boom. Okay, let's test it. See if it. Ah! Okay, that's annoying. <laughs> Uh, don't stand around that. Okay. It's producing 4,000 at the tick. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, that's nothing to joke about, I guess. And it lasts a good long while for each nether star. What is that? Maybe two minutes? Or in between a minute and a half and two minutes, maybe. Uh, okay, so that one's set up, and let's do this one, too. Ooh, this makes me think that um, maybe I could get um, an XNet controller and have it turn everything off and on for me. So I just come in and flip a switch and... Uh, Boom, everything turns off or everything turns on. Yeah, that would be really cool. So rockets, huh? Um, I'm not familiar with all the recipes of the rockets. I know you, they have different durations um, and different recipes, so there's not really, you can't, when I tried to look at the rockets before, um, let's see, rocket, um, it's a firework rocket. You can click on it, but there's no recipe. And what it is, is paper, paper, we got some paper. It already knows how to craft paper, so that's good. And uh, gunpowder. Uh, all you need is one, but you can, if you look, it's this flight duration one. If you add more gunpowder, it's got flight duration two. I don't know if it goes past three. So, oh no, there's no recipe for more than that. So you can get a flight duration three rocket. Um, and I wonder if I do that. I figured it would show up like as a fuel item. <laughs> so maybe we should just test it out um, with just the flight duration one and see. Uh, let's just make a couple of rockets, I guess. Um, Oh, where did my paper go? Paper. Let's make uh, one set of this and make sure that this is what we need before we get crazy and start automating it. Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. 
Oh, dude. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Um, I can put these cables away. Let's see if you like a rocket. You do! And he burned through pretty fast. Let's see. Four seconds. Okay. Um, so let's try uh, the flight duration two rocket. Oh, it's. Why didn't it? Why didn't it do the thing? in there four seconds um, 120 I have to forgot to look and see if uh, I guess uh, let's check again with the flight one is it 120 oh it's only 60 oh so we're changing the amount of FE a tick we get and I don't know that we need the epi a tick from this if it's significant enough i mean we got plenty of gunpowder but all this has to do is run it doesn't have to be producing the most epi it can so we might just put like a normal rocket a flight one I don't know. So let's tell it to make the rockets. Oh, we need paper. Paper. And you. Oh, man. Why can't. Oh, that's right. I can't. Uh, Boop. We work. I don't know. Um, maybe as long as I tell it to input. Okay, let's try this. A boop. do is tell it to input this and did I set you All right should have oh that's right I need like a crafter upgrade for this Okay, what if I just have to see what it's going to make? It's not. It should be able to craft. I think it's, um, I need to manually do it first and tell it to produce that rocket. Okay, flight duration one. Get rid of you. back 
in here. And teach it to bring ah to bring in not this rocket, but this one. Flight duration one. Now if I turn it off, it should make it question mark. I don't have any speed upgrades in here. I know it accepts it. Maybe I need to tell it. upgrade is not working and neither is the recipe so when I ask it to craft it it's not crafting it one gun powder one paper so it looks pretty simple to me um, how about if if I make rockets like boop Oh, is it? I thought it needs to know. No, it knows how to make paper. What if I put some in there? Will it then come in? Yes. Okay. So I need to figure out why it's not crafting. Is it getting. Okay. No machine found. Oh, did I make this a processing recipe? It is a processing recipe. Okay, um, do you still have the recipe? Yes. Oh, but it's gonna... Okay, paper... Paper, a gunpowder, a rocket. Okay. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so now if I put the crafting upgrade in there. It should, when I take this, oh gosh, I gotta remember to Okay, so now if I take this off, it should start filling up. It's got the crafter. Crafting upgrade. I made it correctly this time. Exact mode off. Okay, um, we're gonna just leave this one alone for a minute and come back to it. Um, and I will try to figure out why that's not going in there. Um, do I got the machine configured? I thought I configured it. Yeah, it's pulling from the back. I don't know. Oh, this one? What kind of fluid I want? 
Christmas. Um, maybe it just wants some gold? Let's see if we can uh, get some gold. Inserting gold. Um, it's definitely inserting gold, but it looks like it needs this liquid. A brown liquid? I'm not sure. sure what this is it lava because we've got lava um we can buy it i guess leave me alone we could try lava This will mess the machine up. I will also want you to only work with redstone signal. Um, so yellow. Oh, does not look like it's lava. Um, okay. What about water? Maybe they're gonna wash it. I don't know. Water. Um. Uh -huh. Did anything go in? No. Um. Molten debris, um, molten clay, I don't know. So let's come back to this one too. You're on redstone only, only work with redstone. Okay. So what's next? <laughs> We're not getting many of these done. A primed mycelial generator. This looks like it needs these mushrooms. Um, it's an under mushroom. Um, what about fungus? Or it might even be mycelial. like um we 
get it sluicing, we should have this. Uh, so we should just be able to import or export this for fungus. Ah, uh, yeah, that's all it needs. Okay, <laughs> progress. 20 FB a tick. There we go. Um, moving on. <laughs> nice, so we got it. Uh, this looks like it needs um, eyes of ender. Ooh, I'm not sure if I have that recipe uh, in the system. done and uh, see oh this one looks like it needs TNT okay um, I'm pretty sure I do not have TNT uh, recipe so let's go get that set up and TNT boop boop and a boop just um, actually put it over here and go back in there and finish this up. Okay, so we just tell this to insert TNT. Um, we also only want it to work on a register signal, but we need a cracker for this as well. Um, I don't really know that I need a requester for a specific amount if I do it like this. So now if I... Oh! That is better. Holy Jiminy Christmas. 
Okay, let's get this last one. Uh, looks like it needs snowballs. Okay, let's get away from there. Um, it's actually damaging our shield. I don't believe I have snowballs. With snow block. Uh, blast chiller. I have a blast chiller. And it's currently not working. So, if I got a ball cast... It would make snowballs. Um, bronze plates? I can make that. Um, okay. Well, I think this episode has gone on long enough. I will make the bronze cast and get the snowballs um, coming. Because I stopped the production on the ice because I had, I had so much ice. Um, I have 18,000 blue ice, <laughs> so if I need more, I can always make another one if necessary. So yeah, um, <laughs> thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!